too, Neil. I know things have been very strange since our divorce, but I have some news to tell you. That might be a bit overwhelming about your son. Ben has decided to transition into a girl and would like to be called Lily. She has felt this way for a long time now, and I think it'd be best to tell you now. Because it doesn't appear to be a phase. It's important to show as much love and support to her as possible. I've been researching this topic and I'm very worried that often transgender children can have mental health issues due to not feeling accepted. And I'm very anxious this doesn't happen with Lily. So therefore I'm asking for your support for her. You may have noticed how I'm using her, she and Lily, which is how Ben would like to be referred to now. Anne. Later on a Sunday morning, Davina, the older sister, and Lily, the younger sister, were getting ready to meet their dad to go swimming. Girls, are you ready? Dad will be here any minute. Get your swimming things ready. Mum, I can't find my swimming costume. It's in the tumble dryer. Okay, thanks. Oh, by the way, what do you think about my outfit? You look beautiful. It's such a pretty dress. Okay, good, because I don't w want to change. Neil pulls up outside the house and honks the horn of his car. Alright girls, have a fun time. I'll see you later. Mwah. I love you both. Love, love you too, you. bye! What the? What have you done to my son? If you think I'm taking that child out as a girl, you've got another thing coming. You've done this to my child just to get back at me. It's all your fault. Look, Dad, calm down. You're why are you being scene. like this? Off all the information I'm not upset with you, honey. I'm children. just upset that your mum has allowed this to happen to Ben. Anne, what nonsense have you been telling Davina? You were manipulating her. Kids, yeah. come back to mummy. No, I'll take Davina with me, but I don't want to be seen with my son dressed as a girl. I won't come if Lily isn't coming with me then. I'm not going to. Girls, are you okay? Lily? <laughs> hey, it's okay. Davina, go inside. Listen, this is just a hard time for your dad to process, okay? He will come around, don't cry. He doesn't love me. Don't be silly. Come on, let's go inside and I'll get tissues for you, okay? Let's watch a movie or something. Yeah, okay. Davina, me and Lily are going to watch a movie. Do you want to join? No, I'm good. A few hours later, Lily and Anne are watching a movie eating chocolate and crisps. That was a good movie. <laughs> yes, I enjoyed it. Don't worry about your dad, okay? We'll sort it out. It was just a bit sudden for him. Okay, I love you, Mum. Love you too. A few days later, Anne decided to call her friend for a second opinion on the whole situation and what she can do to help. Yeah, so that's what happened. Wow, Anne, I'm so sorry. It's okay, Lily is doing much better now that a few days have passed, but she still seems so shook about the whole thing. Have you heard from Neil at all? No, not a word. I tried texting him so we could discuss it, but he hasn't responded. I just don't know what I'm supposed to do, Megan. Babe, relax, take a breather. Look, have you tried getting Lily to talk to counselling? It may be what she needs. No, I haven't, but that's a good idea. Yeah, maybe the school has counsellors she can speak to. Alright, I'll call up the school and ask. Thank you, Megan. I'll talk to you later. No worries, hon. Bye-bye. Hi, yes, I would like to speak to someone about counselling for my youngest daughter. Okay, yes, not a problem. Why is it you think she needs counselling? I've already informed the school she is transgender and would like to be referred to as Lily instead of Ben and there was an incident that took place over the weekend. I just think it would be a good idea for her to talk about how she feels to someone as I've tried opening up with her but it seems she doesn't want to talk to me. Ah, I see. I'll see what I can do for you. Give me a moment. It will be during tomorrow's lesson for half an hour, is that alright? Yes, perfect. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Was there anything else you wanted to discuss? No, that's all. Have a nice day. Yes, and you. Bye. The next day, Anne spoke to Lily in the kitchen about counselling. 
come on, it's only for half an hour. If you don't want to do another counselling lesson, I won't force you to. But I think this will help you. Please, darling. Okay, but do you promise that if I don't like it, you won't make me go a second time? Yes, darling, I promise. Next day during school, while Lily was doing her science lesson studying compounds, there was a knock on her classroom door. Come in. Yes, I'm here to see Lily Tuffin. Ah, okay, yes. Lily, get your stuff together and go with her. Okay. As Lily got her stuff together, she thought about what her mum said to her previously and that she promised she won't have to do this again. Both Lily and the counsellor walked to a private room to speak. Hello Lily, my name is Josh and nice to meet you. Lily just nodded in response. No need to be nervous, just here to make sure you're okay with everything that's been going on recently. How about we play a board game to ease your nerve? How's checkers? Okay. George asked set up the game as Lily sat in silence. So Lily, you know how to play, right? Yes, of course I play with my sister all the time. Ah, okay, your sister goes to the school, doesn't she? Yeah. As the two played, Georgia started asking some questions. So what made you want to be a girl? I'm not sure, I've just always liked it. Okay, as long as you're happy, then that's all that matters. Lily smiled. So, your mother told me that something happened last weekend. What happened? My dad started shouting at mum because he didn't like that I was dressed as a girl. And is this the first time your dad has seen you as a girl? Mm-hmm. Just know that whatever mean thing your daddy said was never intended to hurt you. It was just a bit of a shock and he probably couldn't believe that you could pull off wearing a dress. Maybe. He was pretty angry. People get angry sometimes, even adults. Your daddy will come around. How did it make you feel to see daddy so angry? I don't know, I was upset and confused. Why were you confused? Why I can't be myself. Oh sweetie, don't even change yourself for anyone, okay? Wear whatever you want. Even if people stare? Yes, unfortunately people will stare. That's just life. But you shouldn't let it bother you. Surround yourself with people that make you feel happy and accept you for who you are. Yeah. So, will I see you again, Lily? I know you weren't too keen on counselling. Yes, I liked it very much. Just like you said, I have to surround myself with people that make me happy. Lily and Georgia continued to play checkers. Spoiler alert, Lily won twice. They talked about all different things. It was very fun. George Hi, smiled. After school, it was so fun. Lily went I really home. enjoyed my counselling session. I'm going to go again next week. Okay, now I've got yes, I got to play checkers and beat Georgia twice. Because I've got a really checkers. Nice checkers. Man. Man. Two I'm sorry I snapped at you, especially in front of the girls. I thought I would let you know I've had a few times in my life. I've done so every research on my own. I've even seen some YouTube videos to get the gist of things. I would say I'm not 100% there, but I'm working on it. Please tell both. Boring. I'm sorry I snapped at you, Boring. especially in front of the girl. I'm fine, I can't say too Oh, uh, yeah? What game? Two Anne, I'm sorry I snapped at you, especially oh, in front of the I girls. See. I thought I would let you know that I've taken time to process the whole thing and done some research of my own. I've even seen some YouTube videos to get the gist of things. I would say I'm not 100% there, but I'm working on it. Please tell both Lily and Davina that I'm sorry and that I love them both. Neil. Mwah. Mwah. I'm done.